Hey everyone, welcome back, Sam here. So it's no shocker that social media is something that businesses should be utilizing to their advantages, more specifically utilizing Instagram as part of their strategy. And there are many benefits, of course, to like getting access to millions and millions of users on the app, not to mention its advertising abilities in app plus direct outreach with direct messaging. And then of course, gaining insights to your audience is when they use the app demographics and really just kind of tailor your business offerings to your target audiences. And of course, these analytics are only available if you have a business professional Instagram account. So those are just some of the upsides of a professional business Instagram account. Um, and now I really wanna just kind of walk you through the beginning, middle, and end of setting up this account. Mostly so you can just see what it offers you, um, kind of a further dive into the technical aspects of it so you can actually see the benefits. So obviously, first things first, you wanna download the Instagram app and we'll kind of come over here and obviously there are a couple of steps that I'll skip in the beginning here because I'm already logged into uh, a couple of my accounts on this app, but I'll run through kind of an example here. Uh, you can use your phone number or email to kind of sign up, but as far as a username, um, we're just gonna go with Sam's Media as far as my name, as far as the example that I'm using here. So we can try and uh, use Sam's uh, Media, and you'll kind of have to toy around with this, of course, um, to kind of get something that's available. Um, obviously, the shorter the username is, um, kind of the better because there's millions and millions of Instagram users. So a lot of the typical names are probably already going to be taken here. Um, so if you have to, as a last case resort, you can try with underscores or numbers or dots or kind of whatever you need to get a gist of what your username might be. So obviously Sam's Media is taken. Um, we can try Sam's Media 1. Looks like that one's good. So for this example, I'm not gonna like try and sit here for five minutes getting a username. We'll do Sam's Media One as a username. So you'll hit next. So now that we got that, of course, like I said, I skipped a couple of steps because I'm already using like an existing account on here, but usually it'll run through like Instagram's user policy. So obviously open it, read them, kind of learn what you're agreeing to, um, and you can hit continue here. So obviously you're gonna have to create a password as well. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. So obviously with this example, it'll kind of bypass some of the stuff as if you it was your first time downloading Instagram if you never had uh, an Instagram profile or anything like that. So obviously we kind of bypass a couple things, whether it's kind of you know the user policy or phone number or email or whatever it is, but those are just some simple inputs that you'll do to make sure to sign up for an Instagram account. So now we're kind of over here um, and it'll say welcome to Instagram and then you can start by adding you know Facebook friends or you know syncing your contacts to find your friends. I'm gonna skip this for now. So we'll go ahead and put skip. Again, Facebook suge suggestions. Again, I'm gonna skip this. And then here is where you're gonna do kind of account privacy. Um, private, only accounts you approve can see your photos and videos, so usually your followers. Um, public, anyone can see your photos and videos. And this is kind of very important for the business Instagram account because those can only be public if you want a professional account and you want access to the insights and the analytics and really kind of all the features that the business account has to offer. So we're gonna go ahead and hit public. And then this is where you can add a profile photo. Um, I don't really have anything right now, so we're just gonna add one and I can just take a quick photo here of my desk, maybe of my, uh, let's see, maybe of my coaster, you know? Has absolutely nothing to do with Sam's Media, but might as well just take it so you all can see kind of what it'll look like on the profile page. So again, you're gonna come over here. You can also share this to as a post if you'd like it to make your first post. Um, I'm not gonna do this, obviously, just because it's a coaster, but it could be a good way to kind of start your Instagram page. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next here. And then again, um, kind of discovering, uh, you know, people, anything like that, like, you know, all of these uh, celebrities, of course, like as a business, you're probably gonna do more creating and tailoring content to audiences and pushing your products and services. So the kind of consuming part of it might not be as important to you, but that's really up to you, but you're kind of just tailoring what your feed um, will be or what you want it to look like at this point. 
I'm not gonna do any follows or anything here, so we're just gonna hit next. So this is kind of what your feed is gonna look like and kind of how Instagram is set up. And of course, you have your homepage where kind of who you follow will show posts. And of course, now with Instagram's algorithm, it's showing all sorts of things. You know, this one's from them, looks like House of Highlights suggested for using stuff like that, kind of outside of your following, um, which has some people upset, but we'll move on from that. Obviously, you can see likes, comments, um, you can save posts over here if you want to. Um, I'm gonna unsave that. I don't know what I just clicked on, but I'm gonna unsave it. Um, and then of course, you know, DMs are in the top right. You can message your friends up here, connect contacts, search for friends, you get message requests. Um, and then of course you can see kind of who's interacting with your posts. Um, so you'll get post notifications up here as well between likes, comments, shares, um, everything like that up here. And of course, back at the bottom here, you'll see kind of five different icons towards the bottom. Um, and over here, you'll have the explore page. Uh, so this is where you can search creators or businesses, or of course, kind of see what people are posting. And this will start tailoring to kind of what you're engaging most with. And then of course, over in the middle, you'll have your post button um, where you can kind of post reels or just regular static posts um, or stories. And more directly, you can record from here or from your phone and create in the app as well. Um, and then of course, to the right over here, you kind of have the strict reels setup uh, over here where I, Instagram has prided themselves on so just like strict short form video. Um, and then of course, all the way over to the right, you have your profile and all of kind of the accompanying tools so let's stay over here and kind of dive more in so you can set up your account as a professional account and start getting a lot more access on this side of the page. So of course, right now you are a personal profile and what you're gonna to wanna to do is kind of upgrade this to a professional account and a business profile so you'll get access to the analytics, you can connect a Facebook business page if you want, uh, advertising and more features. And of course, there's kind of two parts to this. So first and foremost, you're gonna to wanna to go up to the top right, click the three lines, click settings and go to privacy. And this is where you wanna make sure that you are a public account. This is not checked because you don't want a private account and a professional account can actually not even be set to private. Um, so step one is making sure this is turned off. We did it in the beginning, but if it is not, just make sure you switch it over. And of course, most businesses probably wouldn't even want to be private. Like, I mean, the whole point is finding more people and a larger audience to offer your products and services to. So just make sure this is the first step that you have checked off. Now, the next step is to switch your kind of personal account here that you have existing to a professional account. So we're back in settings. You're going to go down to preferences and then you're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to hit switch to professional account. And of course, it's gonna kind of walk you through kind of all the things I've already said. You can get access to insights about your followers and account performance, um, learn about your followers, reach more people, and then get new contact options. So we're just gonna continue through all of this. And then of course, you'll be prompted to pick an option of kind of a category that best describes you. So obviously, if you're photography or clothing or just a media and digital company, like I'm pretending to be, then there are options uh, for this. And the nice thing is you can choose whether you want this category shown on your profile or not. So obviously, Sam's Media, I'm probably just going to go with Digital Creator and I will choose to display it on my profile here. So we're going to hit Done. And so now this is where you can choose between a creator or a business account. And of course, the creator is more for like public figures or artists or influencers or just kind of a sole person. Um, but for me, if you're offering some type of uh, service or product or you're wanting to do kind of a profile as your business, you're going to hit business. So let's go ahead and just choose the business option. So now, of course, it'll make sure to review your contact info. And this is where you can kind of put a business email. You can put a business address. You can do Instagram audio calling. And then, of course, I deleted out my phone number here just for purposes, but I'll put it back in before we kind of move on. But this is where you can update your phone number as well. And then now, of course, this is where you can start to kind of connect a Facebook business page if you'd like to pair it with your Instagram account. I'm going to go ahead and skip, uh, skip that. And then now set up your professional account. It kind of goes through a checklist of sorts of kind of 
uh, to set up between all of these new categories. But you can go through these, but closing out of these so we can all do it manually, you can kind of see how it's changed a little bit. Um, you have professional dashboard up here. You, it's, it's kind of moved around. Of course, you have the digital creator uh, category in your profile now. Oh, we've kind of gone through the technical aspects of setting this stuff up and kind of switching over to that professional business account. It really is just kind of fine tuning your page, whether you want to switch out your profile picture, uh, add some message buttons at the bottom for contact for email, um, update an address and more. But I wanna touch on this professional dashboard here. So let's kind of just run through it real quick, kind of what it offers for you. So kind of starting at the top, clicked up here, it says insights from a certain date. So obviously December 16th through January 14th, about a month here, accounts reached, accounts engaged, total followers. Obviously all of these are gonna be zeroed out for now because I just started the page, but you'll see different percentages as well between different months. You know, it might've went up 20%, might've gone down 10%, but it'll give you some good insights to kind of where you're trending. And then of course, moving down here, we can click on your tools and see all. You'll have ad tools where you can kind of boost posts within ads and kind of pay for that if, you know, you launched a new product or a new service and you kind of want to make sure that you're pushing that a lot more, you can pay to boost it on Instagram. And then of course you have branded content where you're doing paid partnerships. Um, and Instagram, you do have to label a paid partnership, otherwise it might be ineligible for um, you know, monetization or gifts or anything like that, that Instagram has in app, it might not push as much or it could be taken down altogether. Um, obviously I'm ineligible for this. I haven't made a single post on this, but as you kind of post more, and you get your profile set up and you kind of start gaining those followers and traction on this site, a lot more of these features will become eligible for you. And then of course at the bottom, you'll see saved replies to kind, of, to kind of, you know, common questions or frequently asked questions where you can kind of set that up as well. And so I really wanted to go back to the insights and let's just click on accounts reached here. So further into this, you can actually kind of filter between days. So if you want the last 30 days or maybe you want within a certain time period, you know, maybe just a week, it gives you some preloaded options up here, last seven, last 14, 30, previous month, last 90 days. And then you can update it to kind of see the trends of what you want to do, whether it's week over week or month over month or uh, three months over three months. And then of course, as you start posting stuff, you can see in post insights as well, where you can see kind of where the audience is coming from, whether it's from the explore page or hashtags or from your followers. And you can kind of see the segmentation there as well. And then going back to kind of this profile page, you can see where you're being tagged in posts over here on the right. Um, back to the grid, you can edit your profile now, you can create an avatar if you'd like that will kind of go hand in hand with your profile photo. Um, you can add a name, so let's do that, you know, Sam's Media, awesome. And it looks like you can only change your name twice within 14 days, so just make sure that you're doing this purposefully because you don't wanna be stuck with something that you don't want for two weeks. So let's go ahead and change the name. And so moving down, you know, pronouns, bio, let's add a bio, very good digital services because nothing screams like a good business than that. So we'll hit done and that'll load in and then you can add links, whether this is your website or a landing page that you're offering or an email link or anything like that, you can add links down here as well. And then of course, moving down to the bottom start of it, you can actually switch out your category like we did in the beginning. You can not display it on the profile, have it displayed on profile, switch it out. That's kind of where you do that after you've gone through the initial setup. Um, you can do contact options, whether you want to put an email there and then it'll have a little message button as well right underneath your profile so people can contact you easily. And then obviously profile display, um, you can display the contact info right here or you can not, obviously I have to add something if I want it, or you can display, not display, and it'll kind of give you kind of a shadow, you know, look of what that'll look like with or without what you're wanting to display. Now that's really kind of it start to finish. I mean, there's more you can do with external platforms like automated messaging and DMs and more tools within the platform itself. And of course, creating and uploading content will be huge. And then diving even further down the rabbit hole, there's more tips and tricks of using hashtags or uploading high quality videos and more post specific stuff that would take way longer than 
just one video and something that I've still been uncovering for the past year or two. But anyways, I hope this video was informative enough to kind of give you a baseline of getting your business Instagram account set up, switching to a professional account and kind of seeing the features that it has to offer. So consider subscribing and I hope you all have a great day.